Prime Minister. It was said here in this parliament that you have taken the project from the minister. The minister himself. Mr. The minister Mr. himself Speaker. said it in his presentation. Mr. Speaker, for clarification, it was never said in this parliament. Never said in this parliament. And I want the leader of the opposition to be truthful on this matter. Mr. Speaker. Could you specify exactly when Mr. And, Speaker, and by who? in the sectoral presentation, in the sectoral presentation, the minister stated that the project was removed to the office of the Prime Minister. So, so then, so then, after that statement, the minister still carries out functions as it relates to that project. I think that the Prime Minister needs to make a decision. Are you going to keep your Minister of Energy or are you going to just give him back the project? Are you going to change him or are you going to give him back the project? <laughs> Mr. Speaker, let me make it quite clear. I have a Minister of Energy in place. And I have no intention of removing the Minister of Energy unless he does something wrong that could affect and impact the Jamaican people in a serious way and the government of Jamaica. Thank you. Very good, Madam Prime Minister. Very good, very and good. that would be uh, my decision, not your. Very good, Madam Prime Minister. Now, let us, then, Madam Prime Minister, look towards what you have just said. It, it, it's, a, it's a very important statement you have made. It's not a debate, I have a question to ask. Mr. Speaker. The OCG, upon reviewing the procurement process, concluded that the process was flawed, that the minister's actions were inappropriate. I would like to ask the Prime Minister, when the OCG tabled his report, what action did you take with regard to the OCG's report? Well, we disagreed with the report. There was CG. There's nothing wrong with disagreeing with the OCG's report. The OCG, uh, you know, as the Minister of Transport, <laughs> would know <laughs> that, that you can disagree. We don't have a problem with that. But when a constituted body, Mr. Speaker, especially a body that reports to Parliament, make such a pronouncement on a, such a major energy project. And you, all you will say, Prime Minister, is that you disagreed and you did nothing else? Did, did, you, did you, for example, Prime Minister, ask for further legal advice on this matter? I mean, certainly, you can disagree. But the OCG's report must carry some weight on the decisions that the leader of a country will make. I just want to say to members that I don't know if they remember that there was a disagreement between the OCG and the OUR on this matter. Well, that makes the point even clearer, Prime Minister. So another arm of government comes up with an alternative report. Independent report, I'm not disputing that. What did you do as prime minister to resolve that? We got, we got, um, we got legal advice on it. it. It would be useful, Mr. Speaker, for the legal advice to be provided. We recall that when there was a similar difference in opinion, this time a difference in opinion taken by the Minister of Transport, the government sought to resolve the matter through a judicial review. 
we wonder we wonder Mr. Speaker whether or not this matter of the difference between the two opinions should not have been acted upon with greater responsibility because Mr. Speaker it is on that matter why we are here today because another body who was to be called upon to finance the project has said that we will accept what the OCG has said and not what the other body, which is not the competent body to pronounce on procurement procedures. We have to wonder whether or not the minister did something wrong and whether or not by the prime minister's own statement that she doesn't have reason to address the prime minister's state, the, the, the minister's state. You know, Mr. Speaker, the urgency for me right now is to get an energy project going that will offer cheap electricity to Jamaica, to the Jamaican people, and certainly to the business community particularly those who have to be using the electricity and the cost. I am not here to score political points. I am here to work on behalf of the Jamaican people. Working, working, working. That is my responsibility. You know, Prime Minister, on another day, I would have allowed you to escape. On another day, but not today, not this day. You know why, Mr. Speaker? It is that very reason why we are here today. The very attitude that says, I am not here to business about the law. And if the law don't suit me, I will ignore it. It is this very appeal to say, let, let us abandon rules and regulations while we are here today. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, the Prime Minister of the country cannot stand up and say to the nation that my only concern is to get the energy and not to pay attention to the procedure. It is the failure of not paying attention to the procedure. Why we don't have energy today? That is the reason, Mr. Speaker. You know, a lot of people want to blame the minister. But the blame really should be laid at the feet of the Prime Minister. When a competent body such as the OCG, tables a report on a major project of this country and says to us, there is something wrong. We didn't pay attention to it. We had to now wait for an external body to come and say, you know what, this doesn't smell too right. We're going to leave it alone. And now we are here having to jump through hoops to get it done. Prime Minister, it is the wrong approach. Wrong approach. It is the wrong approach. It is the wrong approach. It is the wrong approach. And I will not stand here and allow my country to go down. It is not your country alone. Not your country alone. I'm foolishness. I have had to be dealing with hold this. On, Mr. Mr. Speaker, Mr. allow me. No, hold on. We have had to be dealing with this issue over and over and over again. When are we going to pay attention to rules in this country? It is by the rules that we will succeed. And for a Prime Minister to stand up and tell us, that she's not going to pay attention to the rules. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on with that. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, I did not come here for any grandstanding. I came to respond to the questions. I answered the questions. He is not satisfied, and I am not going to bow to grandstanding. Thank you very much.